Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Sunday, November the 3rd. It's the 21st Sunday after Pentecost, in week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 24 and 29, Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 1 through 19, and a canticle from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 10. Beginning this week, we're going to change the format slightly and uh, only produce two videos a day, one for morning and evening, and leave you on your own for Compline or Night Prayer. Now join me in singing the first and sixth verse of O oh, Bless the Lord My Soul. O oh, bless the Lord my soul, His grace to thee proclaim. And all that is within me join to bless his holy name. Then bless his holy name, whose grace has made thee whole, whose loving kindness crowns thy days. Oh, bless the Lord my soul. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, the earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Alleluia. Psalms 24 and 29, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, the earth is yours and all that is in it, the earth world and all that dwell therein. For you founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. And who shall ascend your holy hill? And who shall stand in your holy place? Those that have clean hands and pure hearts, who have not lifted their souls into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. They shall receive your blessings, and righteousness from you, the God of their salvation. This is the generation that seeks your face, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Lift your heads, O you gates, and lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and let your glorious ruler come in. And who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High, strong and mighty. God the Most High, mighty in battle. Lift your heads, O you gates. Lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. Who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High of hosts. Our God is the King of glory. Alleluia, give God the Most High, O you mighty. Give God Most High glory and strength. Give God the glory due his name. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. Your voice is upon the waters. O God of glory, you thunder. You are upon many waters. Your voice is powerful. Your voice is full of majesty. Your voice breaks the cedars. You break the cedars of Lebanon. You make them skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syria like a young unicorn. Your voice divides the flames of fire. Your voice shakes the wilderness. You shake the wilderness of Kadesh. Your voice makes the calves be born and discover the forests. And in your temple, everyone speaks of your glory. You sit upon the flood. You sit as ruler forever. You give strength to your people. You bless your people with peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Alleluia. A reading from Nehemiah, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Now there was a great outcry of the people and of their wives against their Jewish kin. For there were those who said, with our sons and daughters, we are many. We must get grain so that we may eat and stay alive. There were also those who said we are having to pledge our fields, our vineyards, and our houses in order to get grain during the famine. And there were those who said we are having to borrow money on our fields and vineyards to pay the king's tax. Now our flesh is the same as that of our kindred. Our children are the same as their children, and yet... We are forcing our sons and daughters to be slaves, and some of our daughters have been ravished 
We are powerless, and our fields and vineyards now belong to others. I was very angry when I heard their outcry and these complaints. After thinking it over, I brought charges against the nobles and the officials. I said to them, you are all taking interest from your own people. And I called a great assembly to deal with them and said to them, as far as we are able, we have brought back our Jewish kindred who had been sold to other nations. But now you are selling your own kin who must then be brought back by us. They were silent and could not find a word to say. So I said, the thing that you are doing is not good. Should you not walk in the fear of our God to prevent the taunts of the nations, our enemies? Moreover, I and my brothers and my servants are lending them money and grain. Let us stop this taking of interest. Restore to them this very day their fields, their vineyards, their olive orchards, and their houses, and the interest on money, grain, wine, and oil that you have been exacting from them. Then they said, We will restore everything and demand nothing more from them. We will do as you say. And I called the priests and made them take an oath to do as they had promised. I also shook out of the fold of my garment and said, So may God shake out everyone from house and from property who does not perform the promise. Thus may they be shaken out and emptied. And all the assembly said, Amen, and praised Yahweh. And the people did as they promised. Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the twentieth year to the thirty-second year of King uh, Artaxerxes, twelve years, neither I nor my brothers ate the food allowance of the governor. The former governors who were before me laid heavy burdens on the people and took food and wine from them, besides forty shekels of silver. Even their servants lorded it over the people, but I did not do so, because of the fear of God. Indeed, I devoted myself to the work on this wall and acquired no land, and all my servants were gathered there for the work. Moreover, there were at my table 150 people, Jews and officials, besides those who came to us from the nations around us. Now that which was prepared for one day was one ox and six choice sheep. Also fowls were prepared for me, and every ten days skins of wine in abundance. And yet with all this I did not demand the food allowance of the governor, because of the heavy burden of labor on the people. Remember for my good, O oh my God, and all that I have done for this people. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, blessed be the God and maker of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. A canticle from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, blessed be the God and maker of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. God chose us in Christ before the foundations of the world to be holy and blameless and to be full of love. God predestined us for adoption through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of God's will, to the praise of God's glorious grace freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In Christ we have redemption, through Christ's blood the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of God's grace lavished upon us. With all wisdom and insight, God has made known to us the mystery of the plan set forth in Christ for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus. Amen. Alleluia.